How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little odd bird up in this piece, in the form of their new hop, comma, PA. Um, for those that aren't familiar with Odd Bird, they are in a town called Stockton, New Jersey, which is about 15 minutes north of New Hope, PA, hence a little play on words there. Uh, this is a Medusa Hopped Pale Ale, 5.2%. This came a couple days ago. Um, and, uh, yeah. One day ago? Yesterday, maybe. So we'll see what's what. Give it a whirl. Ooh, do we have clear beer? Hopefully we have clear beer. Um, I went down there to the old odd bird with the wife and the kid the other day. Brought home some beer. That's how things work. Um, Beer-wise, I mean, it's relatively clear beer. Uh, it's a bit darker than what you'd expect from a low ABV pale ale, so I expect a little bit of sweetness on this. It has kind of like an old-school kind of... Looks like an old-school West Coast kind of IPA kind of malt bill on it. Um, but then you can have that Medusa hop. We'll see how that kind of produces. Um, so, yeah. Rich orange leaning into amber color. Uh, almost index finger, just off white, kind of fluffy head. Let's get a nose. Ooh, that's sweet. It's very sweet. It's going to be a sweet, candied, tropical fruitiness. Maybe with a little bit of ranky onion going on in there. It has this kind of, like, over-ripened candy, the almost, like, candy version of a big juicy fruit kind of gummy kind of hard candy version of that so a tropical fruit kind of hard candy with a little bit of soft ranky dank going on it's going to be sweet um but since it's 5.2 i think that that precursor that illusion of sweetness is just a little bit bigger than what it actually is and it comes off a little bit maybe sweeter in the beginning and kind of drier in the end 5.2 percent clear beer i think it might end up there and might come with a bit of surprising bitterness. So definitely all the tropical fruit, all the juicy fruit gum in this kind of candied uh, format. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. It's exactly kind of where I wanted it to land because it is sweet. And when you think about it being 5.2%, it is actually quite sweet for that ABV level. But since it leans heavily into a big kind of tropical fruit medley, it just kind of makes sense. Even though it is a lower ABV beer, there's a nice soft bittering to it. It wants to eke into a danky, ranky dankiness. It doesn't quite get there. There's a little West Coasty vibes and a bitterness, but it is more tropical fruit sweetness. Nice mouthfeel. Not going to be confused with anything like super dense or, or, or turbid or any of those catchwords that a lot of people use nowadays. But it's appropriate for its ABV, B, ABV level and the type of beer it is. And it does have a nice kind of West Coast kind of backbone to it. It does. Because there is a bittering there. The way the sweetness comes off, it's very kind of like old school. Not old school, but just West Coast IPA, Maris Ottery kind of stuff going on. Excuse me. Burps. And this nice kind of west coast vibes but with a super new school kind of hopping schedule and new school hop itself i like it i think it's fun it drinks way bigger than a 5.2 percent that's what that abv or the sweetness does uh kind of con convinces you you're drinking something bigger like i said there is a bittering here it's not wowie it's not the two by four to the face but it's there it's a structural part of the beer that i think needs to be there to help act as a counterbalance the way the sweetness kind of comes off and it's a really tasty beer super clean super well made zero as far as negativity or flaws or anything really tasty this is one of the better lower abv pale ales or just pale ales i guess you'd say sub six percent pale ales have had its weight it's in the conversation is mount rushmore status no there's some that do me a bit better than this one but as far as just drinkability and impact for abv it's, it's definitely one of the better ones and very tasty stuff. Um, valued availability, brewery only, you're talking about. Um, you know, this is just a small operation that I, 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 if kegs do leave, I'm sure they're few and far between. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like old school IPA with new school twists, you'll like this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've had this beer or what do you think about um, Oddbird in general. Um, new place, like I said, it's just above New Hope, just south of uh, like uh, Easton, uh, uh, Phelpsburg area. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Bear Massif, podcasting stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Oddbird right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.